I'm excited to show my process. And, and one of the things that's amazing about education is when you get to see how other people do it. Because there's not one right way to do it. There is no do this, do this, do this, do this, always, and you're going to get this. You know, music is creativity. There's a thousand ways to do these things. We're going to get started building a basic groove. Kick, hi-hat, and snare. It's critical that you always stay organized because it really helps you move fast and efficient. What I want to talk about now is as you start to amass your sample library, some of the, the tips and tricks that I use to stay organized so that when I have an idea in my head, I know exactly where to go. We talk a lot about creativity and it's important to stay in the creative flow, but when you really start getting those creative ideas and you feel like a musical idea is, is starting to become very cool, you want to work as fast as you can and not be bogged down with the technical aspects. The workflow that, that I'm presenting here is, you know, the first order of business is to come up with a very cool groove that's, that's solid, it has all the basic elements that you would need, that you like. It, you know, you spend time on just an 8 or a 16 bar loop that's pretty fully developed and something that you could listen to for a while and that you think is very cool. And, and that is really what I would argue and what I'm presenting is kind of the jump off point for any track, especially when it, when it deals with electronic dance music and in this case, specifically Tech House. Anybody can make music, and that's one of the most exciting things too. All it can do is help the technology get better, help the music get better, and help other people learn how to express themselves creatively. And so to be a part of that, to me, uh, is very fulfilling. <laughs>